Welcome to the fascinating world of geothermal energy, where the Earth's hidden power is harnessed to create sustainable and clean electricity. In this video, we'll review the remarkable potential of geothermal energy and its role in shaping our future. Get ready to witness nature's untapped force come alive as we unveil the wonders of geothermal energy. Geothermal energy, derived from the Greek words geo meaning earth and thermos meaning heat, is a form of renewable energy that comes from the heat stored within the earth. It is generated by utilizing the natural heat energy produced by the earth's core and crust, which is continuously replenished by various geological processes. This energy can be converted into electricity or used directly for heating and cooling purposes. The Earth's interior is incredibly hot, with temperatures reaching several thousand degrees Fahrenheit at its core. This heat is conducted towards the Earth's surface through the mantle and the crust. In certain regions, this geothermal energy is closer to the surface and can be easily accessed. To harness geothermal energy, there are three main types of geothermal power plants. Dry steam power plants. These plants use steam directly from underground sources to rotate a turbine, which in turn drives a generator to produce electricity. The steam is obtained from wells drilled into underground reservoirs of high pressure hot water and steam. Flash steam power plants. This type of plant is the most common and uses high pressure hot water from underground reservoirs. As the hot water is released through a small opening into a lower pressure environment, it rapidly flashes into steam. The steam is then used to rotate a turbine and generate electricity. Binary cycle power plants. These plants are suitable when the temperature of the geothermal fluid is relatively low. Hot water or steam from underground reservoirs is passed through a heat exchanger, which transfers its heat to a separate working fluid with a lower boiling point, such as isobutane or pentane. The working fluid vaporizes and drives a turbine connected to a generator to produce electricity. In addition to power generation, geothermal energy can be utilized for direct heating and cooling. Geothermal heat pumps use the stable temperatures below the Earth's surface to provide heating in winter and cooling in summer for buildings. Geothermal energy is considered a renewable and sustainable energy source because the heat from the Earth's core is continuously produced by natural processes. It offers advantages such as low greenhouse gas emissions, relatively and long-term availability, making it an important part of the clean energy mix. Geothermal is a 24-7, clean, zero emissions source of heat and electricity. Developing this energy in New Mexico would be a promising renewable energy source with significant potential for heat and electricity generation. Efforts are being made to develop and harness this clean energy source in the state. Geothermal energy utilizes the heat stored beneath the Earth's surface to generate power and provide heating and cooling. This energy works by tapping into hot water sources or steam reservoirs deep underground. Unlike oil and gas, which requires a constant stream of fresh water, geothermal uses a fraction of that in a closed loop system. By drilling wells, the high temperature fluids are extracted and used to drive turbines connected to generators producing electricity. The heat from geothermal fluids can also be utilized for heating purposes or through geothermal heat pumps for cooling. New Mexico's geothermal resources are being assessed through the collection of thermal gradient data. This data provides insights into the temperature variations with DEF and help identify areas with geothermal potential. Regions such as Lake Valley Hillsboro, Truth or Consequences, Santa Fe, Taos, Socorro, and Hatch have been the focus of geothermal research and data collection. In New Mexico, there is a growing interest in geothermal development, and steps are being taken to support its expansion. 
In the 2023 New Mexico legislative session, a geothermal energy fund and development fund bill was introduced in the House and the Senate. Both bills made their way through each committee, but they ultimately failed to reach their final destination, the governor's desk. We hope in the 2024 New Mexico legislative session, a geothermal energy development bill will be passed with the goal of facilitating the two-phase development of geothermal energy. The development of geothermal energy in New Mexico aligns with the state's renewable energy goals and contributes to reducing greenhouse gas emissions. Geothermal energy is a clean, reliable, and sustainable, offering a stable source of power generation and supporting the transition to a greener energy mix. Geothermal energy is generated in about 20 countries, and it's used around the world for its sustainable and renewable characteristics. From the enchanting landscapes of Iceland to the busy cities of the United States, and the iconic landmarks in Italy to the volcanic terrains of Indonesia, geothermal energy's reach knows no bounds. Join us on a global journey as we uncover the remarkable ways in which geothermal energy is harnessed across continents. Geothermal energy is transforming lives in more ways than one. Iceland, for instance, heavily relies on geothermal energy for both heating and electricity. Around 87% of households in Iceland are heated with geothermal energy. The United States leads the world in geothermal electricity generation. In 2022, geothermal power plants located in the U.S produced about 17 billion kilowatt hours. What does that mean? Well, 17 billion kilowatt hours of energy approximately powers 1.63 million households per year. Italy is known for its iconic landmarks, art, culture, but did you know that the Lardarello Geothermal Complex in Tuscany is one of the world's first geothermal power plants that's been operational since the early 20th century. The Lardarello plant produces six terawatt hours per year, 5% of the nation's green energy. Indonesia has a high potential for geothermal power generation due to its location along the Pacific Ring of Fire, a region with high volcanic activity. It currently stands as the second largest producer of geothermal energy, right behind the U.S., with an estimated of 29 gigawatts of geothermal reserves, which is approximately 40% of the world's total geothermal resource. Geothermal energy isn't bound by borders, so from busy cities to volcanic terrains, it's a universal source that's shaping the way we live, work, and face climate change. This source of renewable energy is a testament to the creativity of humanity working hand in hand with the planet. So, as we venture into this geothermal world, remember, the Earth's warmth is more than a comfort. It's an energy source that's sustainable for our future. In the past, you heard us talk about solar and wind energy generation, and this week we looked into geothermal energy. As we've learned, New Mexico is a region with a diverse range of renewable energy resources, making it a well suited for these three distinct renewable energy sources that can work with each other to create a more reliable and sustainable energy system. Let's take one last look on how these three energy sources complement each other. Using a mix of renewable energy resources reduces reliance on fossil fuels, which helps mitigate greenhouse gas emissions and environmental deprivation. This combination promotes sustainable energy generation and contributes to the fight against climate change. With solar energy, whether it's residential or commercial, it allows these structures to generate their own electricity, reducing the amount of electricity that needs to be drawn from the grid thereby offsetting local energy demand from traditional fossil fuel-based electricity generation. Wind energy projects like the Sancia Transmission Project allows us to export this renewable energy to neighboring states or regions generating revenue for New Mexico. If the state has access to wind energy, it can sell this surplus electricity to other states through the grid. 
Geothermal energy is a clean and renewable energy source that produces no greenhouse gas emissions or air pollutants. Gas plants rely on natural gas, a fossil fuel, for power generation. Transitioning to geothermal energy reduces the dependence on fossil fuels, enhancing energy security and reducing vulnerability to fuel price fluctuations. Having a mix of renewable sources provides consistency in the energy system. If one source is temporarily unavailable due to weather conditions or other factors, the other sources can continue to contribute power, ensuring a continuous energy supply. Tailoring these three energy sources to the specific characteristics of New Mexico, the state can develop a resilient, sustainable, and locally driven energy system that benefits both the environment and the economy.